The adding machine was, in many ways, a predecessor to the calculator. The earliest versions of the mechanical adding machine became available for purchase in the late 19th century, with the 10 key model becoming a standard fixture by the mid 20th century. The electronic calculator eclipsed the adding machine in the 1970s, but you may still see the trusty adding machine pop up for a few business applications. The divide between adding machine and calculator is a little vague, but there are a general set of criteria that can be used to identify an adding machine. They perform only basic operations like addition, subtraction, and sometimes percentages. They can print a paper record of said operations instead of a decimal key. They may have a switch that sets a decimal place. They usually use postfix notation. They may have limited memory for storing results. One of the reasons the line between adding machine and calculators is so vague is that technology didn't make an instantaneous leap from basic adding or subtracting machines to electronic calculators capable of graphic complex calculus functions. Instead, the earliest calculators looked very much like adding machines with operations such as multiplication and division added. They still fulfilled the duties of an adding machine, though, and some were even capable of printing a paper version of their calculations. These were often sold under the label adding calculator or printing calculator and a 10-key calculator could have been a 10-key adding machine or an actual calculator. If you're applying for any sort of data entry or computer-intensive job, you may be asked about your 10-key proficiency or speed. This has nothing to do with 10-key adding machines, although the skill could translate. Instead, you're being asked how quickly you can use a 10-key keypad to input numbers or data. This is the numerical keypad you'll often see to the right of a standard computer keyboard, or the 10-key can come as a standalone external unit. Basic information, adding machines have made a lot of progress since William Burfs received his patent in 1888. Even still, it is rare to see an adding machine in an office today because of computers and calculators. Adding machines work on a binary system similar to computers and were created mainly for an accounting environment. Accountants and business owners are not concerned as much with addition and subtraction as they are with positive and negative numbers. So, if you have an old adding machine and you use it like you would a calculator, your adding machine may not work correctly for you and you will not receive totals that make sense. When you want to complete a problem on an adding machine, such as 7-3, you would not key in 7, then the subtraction sign, then 3 and then an equal sign. If you do, then you will get an answer of 4, and you know that is not the correct answer. Again, you have to think like an accountant when you're working with your adding machine. To figure this subtraction problem on an adding machine, you would need to key in 7, the addition sign, 3 and then the subtraction sign, you would get the answer of 4. You are actually working the problem as 7 plus 3. This would be true on most modern day machines. In order to subtract, you have to add the negative number. When multiplying and dividing numbers with modern adding machines, you punch the keys and work the problem similar to the way you would with a calculator. So, if you want to multiply 7 by 6, then you hit the 7 key, the multiplication key, the 6 key and then the total key, according to what you have read in your user manual for your particular machine. The same is true for division, it is like a calculator. A difference would occur when you need to multiply a negative number because you would hit the subtraction sign after you key the number. Adding machines also have memory, where you can add a group of numbers, save them in memory, add another group of numbers and then add the two sums. The memory feature is particularly helpful when you have to solve a problem that would a parentheses. Each adding machine works a little differently depending on the brand or model. Make sure to practice with easy numbers before you have to add several numbers. Work on your taxes or balance accounts for your business. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.